Hi moviegoers, hola cinéfilos, soy yo nuevamente Siddhartha, su anfitrión para este canal Cine desde Perspectiva. I'm Siddhartha, your host for this movie channel Cine desde Perspectiva. Um, and always, as always, movie, re movie reviews and uh, movie buzz and hype. So, así que este es un canal para emocionarnos más sobre el cine um, y también para hacer reseñas cinematográficas con mi particular estilo. Um, espero que me agarren bien la onda. So, this is um, a movie review with a certain style, certain perspective. So, in a certain look. Um, this is, um, I believe, another short video I believe I will make possible. Um, for the movie, which I want to recommend also, which is Professor Marston and the, and the Wonder Woman. Um, and it stars three great actors. Uh, this is the cover photo for the uh, physical release. It's already, I think, already on physical... It's already physically over there at stores like... I don't know. I don't want to get into commercials, but... Costco, Walmart, uh, any video store like uh, Best Buy, Walmart, uh, where they where they sell the latest uh, movies. So go and check that out. Um, it stars Luke Evans, Andreas Sperling, Amy Redford, Bose Koenig. I think this is wrong. Um, Luke Evans is one of them. Um, he was in Dracula, the never told story or something like that. Um, this is uh, directed and written by Angela Robinson. Um, it is about Professor Marston, the real life character and person, and his two women. Um, this is the synopsis over here. And those who understand Spanish will understand it. Uh, the other uh, actors or actresses you want to... Um, Understand as well, okay. Rev um, Elizabeth Marston, okay, is the other character played by Rebecca Hall, um, Olive Byrne, Bella Heathcote. So, okay, this is uh, the synopsis in Spanish. Whee! Here we go. So, okay, folks, um, this is the story about Professor Marston and his two women, the women who inspired him, who helped him invent, create um, that awesome, uh, bold, beautiful and courageous character which is Wonder Woman, which uh, who we have seen in um, the Justice League movies um, and such. And of course in her own standalone movie um, starring Gal Gadot, okay? This is the story behind that character, this the bold, courageous, um, bold and audacious story and tenacious story um, told by director Angela Robinson with a lot of uh, a lot of um, a lot of uh, valor, a lot of cor courage to tell it. Um, because this is, this this movie is about freedom and oppression and perseverance and just the, 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 the liberty, the freedom of being, okay? And yes, yes, yes indeed, this is Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman, like I repeat again, um, and his two women, the women who inspired him. And it's, it's, it's basically that, um, this man, these two women, um, played by Luke Evans, um, Elizabeth Marston, played by Rebecca Hall, and Olive Byrne by Bella Heathcote, which you remember from Dark Shadows, directed by Tim Burton with Johnny Depp. Um, and these two women helped create the lying detector and also, of course, Wonder Woman. Okay, um... This is from the other video. Um, so, okay. Um, this is basically the story. Okay, let's 
let's get to the points. Um, this is a very, very um, bold storytelling from Angela Robinson, I think. Um, she really makes some very bold moves, very courageous moves to tell the anecdotes which um, help create and invent the line detector, what, what was behind the story of the line, the line detector and the, of course, beautiful and courageous Wonder Woman. Um, but behind that, uh, those stories, of course, told through movie fiction, perhaps very much art imitating real life. Um, it is about the relationship between Professor Marston and his two women, uh, how their relationship began to be, how it started, where they met, how their the relationship developed, how it um, carried on, how it uh, tried to struggle and survive um, criticism and prejudice and um, just other people's perspectives and um, how even the turmoil between, in between them and all that. Uh, it's pretty much um, this is how it goes in the story. It is a very beautiful and very unique way of telling it. It is not as morbid as you would fear it would be. No, it's really more like, it's a very um, fine way to tell it, to put in a way. So um, I think I really like the performances. They drive the movie, they tell the story, and I really think they even told it in a very eloquent fashion or manner. Um, the photography, cinematography is very beautiful. The colors, like you see in the covers over here, um, the gold color, and I really like the moments like um, how they, sometimes you will see the moments which um, inspired some of the comic books, some of the comic book numbers, you will see Marston actually um, trying to sell his idea for Wonder Woman, um, also struggling and trying to get by through a kind of um, a judgment of some sort. You will see many moments, like the one that you see here in the cover, which is one of the moments from the movie, uh, trying to explain to us, trying to tell us which, uh, the kind of moment that inspired woman, Wonder Woman's look. Um, so I think I like to say that it is a beautifully well photographed uh, film it is, um, I think it's, 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 it's well told. Um, Jola Robinson really nailed the tone to tell the story. Um, it's, it's a beautiful love story really, but I, of course, not everyone will get into the mood to understand it. You have to be very openly, you have to have um, a lot of discretion I, I do advise discretion and be open-minded and try to see the story as it is. Um, but okay, así que bueno, decía esta es la historia del profesor Marston y sus dos este, musas, así es como les digo. Um, y son las mujeres que, como dicen, si detrás de cada gran hombre hay una gran mujer, aquí fueron dos mujeres las que le ayudaron, lo inspiraron, sus musas, las que lo inspiraron, lo ayudaron a crear, las que lo motivaron, lo animaron, lo apoyaron para crear, eh, por supuesto, que desde luego la Mujer Maravilla, pero también el inventor de mentiras, que está relacionado con la Mujer Maravilla, pues piensen nomás en el, en el lazo de la verdad, um, y como en la portada, ven, es el traje que más o menos inspiró a la Mujer Maravilla en el cómic, Um, Luke Evans, Bella Heathcote y esta otra actriz, déjenme aquí está, Rebecca Hall, creo que ellos llevan toda la historia sobre sus hombros y creo que lo hacen maravillosamente bien, aquí está la sinopsis, es, es, es sobre perseverancia, como dice aquí, invención, valentía, contra muchos prejuicios eh, de perspectivas ajenas, además de los propios... Um, eh, conflictos que hubieron entre ellos tres 
por circunstancias y, ac y acontecimientos que van a tener que ver. Um, creo que entonces eh, eso explica bien a grosso modo cómo es. Es cómo se conocieron, um, en qué momento estaban de sus vidas, cuando se conocieron, qué eran, um, qué estudiaban, trabajaban, cuando se conocieron, cómo se desarrolló esa relación cómo se fue dando esa relación entre ellos tres, claro, a manera cinematográfica, de hecho, ¿verdad? Eh, porque ahorita van a ver, les voy a mostrar la foto, no, creo que no se bajó la foto, esto es de otro, de otro video, um, y es, es muy diferente, las personas que realmente fueron en vida, eh, no son como se ven aquí en la portada, um, pero sí, eh, el profesor Marston y la Mujer Maravilla, o mejor dicho, el profesor Marston y sus musas, Um, son dos mujeres fuera de serie, extraordinarias um, y es, es, esa, es ese tipo de historia um, claro, um, se los dejo a su criterio um, véanla con discreción con una mente abierta, con muy buen criterio para verla um, y bueno, creo que la cinematografía está muy bonita los colores, todo Um, y es una muy audaz narración, una historia muy audaz de contar y muy bien contada, bastante bien elocuente y gran elocuente incluso por Angela Robinson, quien también escribió el guión. Um, la música yo diría que también uh, ayuda mucho, apoya la película um, y yo creo que sí la recomiendo, es una buena, un buen relato. Um, basada en hechos reales, basada en, en personas um, extraordinarias. Um, y pues bueno, esto es lo que eh, yo, yo opino. Comenten abajo su opinión, si tienen opinión y se atreven a opinar, aquí abajo pueden comentar su opinión, se va a respetar, incluso por mí mismo, para empezar por mí, uh, yo para empezar, o sea, quiero decir, yo para empezar voy a respetar su opinión, sea cual sea, esté en desacuerdo o no con esto. Um, y pues so if you want to if you there if you do have comments if you dare to comment comment on the comment section below um, and I will respect your opinion of course as it should be and okay so this is for right now this is the video only just to review this movie and I do recommend it so see you in the next video have a great Saturday.